this for a long time. And I've finally done it. It's here. I now have a knee of the curve sizzle reel. This. This is just a light in a box. It's for effect. It's what Alfred Hitchcock called a MacGuffin. It's a mysterious device that helps move the story forward. And it serves the same purpose as the sizzle reel, which is like a trailer or a promo. It's a pitch reel. And yeah, I'm going to use it to try and sell Knee of the Curve. But don't worry, that's not going to mean less content here on YouTube. It's going to mean more content, just higher quality with, you know, maybe slightly more yacht parties. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the start of a very cool journey. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride as we sell a TV show to Hollywood, or at least try to. You'll see firsthand what I go through as I have power lunches with management partner with a production company, pitch to studios, get rejected. <laughs> and hopefully at some point sell the show. And if not, I'll just keep making it here on YouTube. Either way, the journey is gonna be worth it. So back to the sizzle, you might be asking, what's a sizzle? Is it like a trailer or a promo? Who's it for? Why do I need one? And hey, why are you trying to sell a show you're already doing here on YouTube? So let me try and answer all that. But first, a little backstory. I've been creating Knee of the Curve on this channel since 2019. There's like 20 episodes, maybe? For people new to my channel that don't know what Knee of the Curve means, well, you've heard of being ahead of the curve or behind the curve. The Knee of the Curve is where the fastest change is happening. Artificial intelligence, biohacking, cryptocurrency, sex robots. This is my 2018 reel I used to pitch at Comedy Central and Facebook and a bunch of other places. It's linked in the description if you wanna see how far the show has come. A sizzle reel is a bunch of clips from an existing show cut together usually to music in a high energy way that showcases the best of what that show has been doing. I'm America's naughtiest bitch. I believe I have something you're looking for, world, and it's called hope. The best is yet to come. Okay, then. You can use a sizzle reel as a promo, but a promo can be anything. You could shoot something completely original just to use for the promo. HBO's biggest Sunday night show returns. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, you meant- Yeah, um, not you. Right. The pitch reel that I've created is a three minute video that starts with a promo section where I explain what the show is, who it's for, and why it's an unmet need in the market. Then it goes to a sizzle portion where it showcases a bunch of fun moments from episodes over the last two years. Okay, so who is this thing for? It's for two groups of people. Uh, production companies and studios. So first, we would go take it to production companies and try to get them excited about making this show. Ideally, we'd get some famous comedian's production company to kind of use their big swinging name. All the quality you associate with their name now attached to my show. Once that happens, we'll kind of have enough firing power and connections to get meetings at studios. Comedy Central, HBO, Netflix, Facebook, Showtime, whoever is interested, Discovery Channel, I don't know, maybe they want a comedy show. But there are a lot of well-known people in the industry that could do a pitch with what's called the million dollar napkin. You're like, well, I, you know, I jotted this down. Um, what about this? Blah, blah, blah. And they're like, I love it because they're well known and they're a name actor, they're a hot commodity and the studio is just buying them. Hope to get to that point some time in my career, but right now um, I have to do everything possible to show that I can do the job. So I'm strictly going off of the small YouTube following that I've 
gathered and just how good the sizzle is. Okay, let me show you this pitch reel. Not many people have seen this. And if you have some comments and something productive, man, please leave it in the comments. All right, you're a studio exec. You may or may not know anything about technology and someone sends you this out of the blue. Here we go. Political news just got a brand new bad boy. Uh, it's not political news, it's technology news, but I love that bad boy comment. Financial news just got sexier. Uh, uh, sure, but finance really is a small part. It is mostly technology. All Tesla, all the time. No. Some Tesla, sometimes. Has anyone told you about the show? No. Okay, well, it's about innovation, future technology. The whole show? Yeah. How did you get this job? You think that'll sell? Well, in fact, 50% of millennials get their news from comedy shows. 70% of Americans prefer science news. The Daily Show, Last Week Tonight, and Real Time get this much traffic, but look how many monthly views these technology websites get, and I'm the only one turning this into comedy, which is why my YouTube channel's exploding. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Let's try this again. Great. iPhone news and gadget reviews. Not gadgets. Bigger ideas. Bigger than iPhone? Name one. I sent a list. Someone should have given you a list. Hang on. Here it is. <clears throat> Rejuvenation. Asteroid defense. Augmented reality. Brain downloading. Space hotels. Nanobots. Dancing robot overlords. And Tesla. Tesla's not on the list, but yes, sure. Tesla. Very cool topics, but how do you make that funny? I've been making this show for two years. Alexa, roll the sizzle. Commence the scientific flabbergasting. At some point, computers are gonna be just small enough to fit inside your body, but just big enough to get stuck in your pee hole. Yeah, I had one of those Nokia Kidney Stone 3000s. The technological singularity. Artificial intelligence. SpaceX. Terraforming. Blockchain. Synthetic meat. Faster than light travel. Deep fakes. Quantum superposition is the reverse cowgirl of physics. It's crazier than that. Imagine reverse cowgirl, but she's got boobs on her back. It's mind blowing, it defies the laws of nature, and then you realize now you've got boobs on your back. Body parts are popping up everywhere because in the quantum realm, all possibilities are happening simultaneously in infinite dimensions. But the only dimension that's real for you is the one where you're being watched. Hashtag flat Marsers. Yang gang. No stupids allowed. Elon Musk law. Are you worried you're not eccentric enough to be a CEO? Point click blue skin. We're trash cyborgs. Robot blowjob machines. A computer that lies. Moore's law. DNA. It holds the blueprint for exactly what jokes I can get away with. This show is a life preserver for the unstoppable tsunami of technological change coming at us, and only the smart people are gonna grab it. Stop eating bad assholes. So make sure you keep the show a secret from anyone you want to die. Love it. Okay. Let me take one more crack at it. Yeah. He's a scientist. I'm a stand-up comedian. He's a cyborg. Special effects. Broadcasting from the International Space Station, surrounded by AI robot guards. They'll steal your soul and download it into the internet. Interviews with Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking's dead. A seance with Stephen Hawking. Supernatural is not science. Tesla. Right? So anyway, I hope that made you laugh. I hope you're excited to follow on this journey. I just wanna thank the patrons for making this all possible. And don't worry, if you are a patron, if I sell the show, it's only gonna make it possible for me to do way more content here on the channel, not to mention the amazing episodes you'll get to watch that are way higher production quality than what I can do here. Uh, you know, I hope I hope you're rooting for me. I hope it goes somewhere. Right now, all I have is the sizzle. There are no production companies on board. There are no meetings on the calendar. So we'll just have to see where this goes. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And actually, uh, I have a little community over on Discord that's fun, and I'm gonna be doing a little Q&A and uh, like a live stream kind of thing over there. So if you have questions about this video, 
and the process of trying to sell a show. I'll be over there talking to the community. So come on over and hang out on Discord. Let me just confess real quick to you guys. I know that this channel is all over the place. I do this high-end tech show, and then I do these low-end tech shows, and then sometimes I do vlogs, and then I'm doing a review, and now I'm doing this like meta thing about the show inside the show. It's, so the reason I do so many different styles on this channel is because Near the Curve is impossible to do every week. So I switch it up to easier styles and stuff. And that's actually a big reason I'm still trying to sell the show because I just, I need a large amount of help to create it at the level that I envision it. So anyway, if you're a fan of the channel, uh, hopefully you're a fan of the crazy variety that I give you and that you don't know what's gonna happen every time you click on a video. So just anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, whatever that may be.